Okay, we just got this package in. We thought it was lost for a while, but we didn't know what happened to it. And uh, the nice gentleman at uh, Candela Research Center contacted me and said it had been delivered. And sure enough, I found it. But what is in it? That is the question. Let's see if we can open it up. All right, we did the official label covering. Oh, you can show their address. Maybe people want to know where Candela Research Company is. I don't know. Get rid of that. I hope you can hear me because we're outside here on the porch and uh, don't have any mics. Uh, the guy with the boom mic uh, was sick and was has the day off, so we'll just go. <laughs> we'll just go with what we got. All right. So this is supposed to be a motor test stand. Of course, you're probably asking, what is a motor test stand? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Uh, I think this is supposed to be where you mount your motor. It could be a gas motor or electric motor. And here's the fasteners and stuff for it right there. And here's the handy dandy print of what the parts look like. Should be enough light to see that. But why do you need that when you have the real thing right here? I don't know. Well, this thing is all laser cut. Let's see if I can get it up here. Yeah, it's it's so well laser cut, it's actually falling apart already. Or is it laser cut? They, they did a bang up job. Yeah, there's a piece missing out of here. Anyway, here you can hold it up, John. There. Now that should look like that. But they have a video online. Uh, Candela Research Center has a video online on how to assemble it. And I just want to say uh, thanks to Candela. Charles, I believe his name is, uh, for sending this. They didn't charge us anything for it. We're just going to try it out and see what it does. It's kind of a prototype. You know, we're, so we're going to see what happens when we put it together. But uh, if any of you want to know about Candela Research, I'll put a link underneath the video so you can go to their website and see more about it. I don't know how long it's going to take us to assemble this and try it out because we got so many other projects we're working on. And HW. Yeah, and HW. So, uh, yeah. We'll get to it and uh, do a video on uh, testing a motor or two and just see what it does do. And obviously we need some electronics to make it work because uh, something's got to drive the motor and something's got to measure the current and stuff like that because thrust wouldn't be much use without also knowing the current and maybe a few other parameters. You have to have, probably have to have a smoke alarm too. <laughs> so here we have it just press fit together and uh, I found out that you actually don't need a rod to go through here that they supplied the uh, bolts and some bushings there apparently that uh, will act as a pivot there's two of them one on each side but here's the motor mount that goes in here so it's removable so you can take it out put a different motor on whatever and uh, you could probably even make extra motor mounts for different applications. But then once you get your pivots in, it will rock. Put the scale over here, and then there's an adjustable screw right here that you can screw down on the scale and get it just right. So we haven't glued it. This hole's bigger. That's how the bushing works. Yeah, the bushing goes in that bigger hole. But yeah, that's, that's basically how it goes. We'll have to take it apart again and and glue it and do it a little better, but just wanted to give you an idea what it looked the, like. I want to see if the bushing fits, by the way. That's a snug fit, but it'll go in there. 